Like, girl, these is cute. Girl, these sneakers, baby. Look at these. Look at these sneakers. They're so cute. Like, my, y'all, I had blood on my socks. From wearing my Alexander McQueen sneakers, they made my feet bleed. Yes, I don't be liking to spend my money like that. Somebody else's money, I can spend it like that. His money, I can spend it like that. Now, let me just give y'all the tea on these shoes. These glitter Alexander McQueen's is not for the week. If you just, this is why y'all came here. It was for these. I already know it was for these shoes. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, which is why you clicked, I'm getting ready to unbox some Alexander McQueen sneakers. Y'all, let me tell y'all something about these sneakers, baby. First things first, I've been doing a lot of little luxury shopping here lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm in my bag. I don't know if I'm in his bag. I don't know what it is, but baby, I've been getting a lot of blessed with a lot of designer items and I'm so excited. Yeah, so as you can see from the title of the video, we getting ready to unbox some Alexander McQueen sneakers, y'all. These sneakers, <laughs> baby, these sneakers are fire. They're fire. And I was like, there's no way I can get designer items and I come on here and show y'all because I'm Pretty Rissa and Pretty Rissa loves designer items and Pretty Rissa loves to unbox them with y'all. So I was like, I have to come on here and do this video. So that's what we're here for today. If you are watching me right now and you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, what is you doing? Boy, what is you doing? Yes, girls and boys, because I'm bringing this heat for other girls and the boys of the world. And that's just period so yeah if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down below but if you are already a subscriber hey girl what's up welcome back to another video period okay yeah that's enough rambling let's get right into the reason why y'all clicked on the video which is these shoes baby okay the shoes this is this is this is why y'all came here it was for these i already know it was for these shoes some of y'all probably came for pretty risk too i don't know i don't know but y'all I have the sneakers right in here. The Alexander McQueen's that I ordered are actually the glitter pair. So I'm just gonna go ahead, show y'all the shoes. I'm also gonna tell y'all like how long it took to get to me, where I ordered them from, blase, blase, how they fit, all that type of stuff. Cause I've noticed like with my other unboxing videos that I did, a lot of the comments that I get be like, oh, what size pretty rich? So what size should I get? How do they fit? Are they comfortable? Did it take a long time to get there? Stuff like that. So watch this video cause I'm gonna just answer all that. And one little walk for y'all, okay? So anyway, here goes the box that my sneakers came in. It's just the standard Alexander McQueen box. If you know, then you know. And if you don't, now you know. I'm just going to open them up, okay? Let's get these shoes open. Now, I ordered my Alexander McQueen sneakers from Essence.com, which is where I've ordered um, my last pair, too. I ordered a lot of my designer items from Essence. The thing I like about Essence is... They be having sales and stuff, and this is not a sponsored video, but Essence, if y'all see this, <laughs> sponsor your girl, because y'all been getting a lot of my coins, okay? Yeah, so when you open the box, they just come like this. This is the standard Alexander McQueen print paper that comes inside, and then also, too, you get your um, Alexander McQueen cards. My light is so bright, so you can't see, but the little Alexander McQueen, um, I can't, I don't even know why I'm showing y'all, I can't see it, but the Alexander McQueen symbol is um inside of here and it just says like thank you for choosing to purchase Alexander McQueen product da -da 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 -da, all that other stuff so yeah that's that let me show y'all the shoes because that's why y'all here I know so like I said you open the box they come just like this my paper's a little raggedy because I already okay before I show y'all these shoes I gotta tell y'all something so every time I order designer stuff I be really trying to do the whole unboxing experience with y'all when they come in the mail to when I cut them open to all that but I be on the go. I'm a girl on the go. I'm a girl with plans. I be booked and busy. We need to wear my shit, okay? So I've already wore these, but y'all, look at these sneakers. Girl, you cannot tell me this is not fire. Let me show y'all my sneakers. They're right here. They're so glittery. Now let me tell you something. These glitter Alexander McQueen's is not for the week. If you like, uh, I don't want to stand out. I don't want to. Girl, you're not going to want to get these because these right here are definitely going to be a showstopper. People going to definitely look at your feed. They're going to want to know what you got on. Stuff like that. So yeah, these are the sneakers. Let me show y'all the other one too. They come just like this. So freaking cute. I'm always putting the shoes backwards. Yeah. Here they go. So cute, so glittery. Let me tell y'all the exact name of these ones. I think they have it right here on the side of the box. These are the bicolor glitter. Um, yeah, bicolor glitter. I think they're called bicolor because I don't know if the light, like if the camera is picking it up, but 
it's like silver a little bit if you turn it one way and then sometimes it looks like gold flakes so that's probably why they said bi color but the back of the shoe let me turn this light down it's always the light the back of the shoe if you can tell it's like a real soft like pink type of color so it's really cute of course it says alexander mcqueen right here on the back of the shoe this is an oversized sneaker so it's thick. For all my little short girls of the world, these shoes do you a little, you know what I'm saying, a little couple extra inches or whatever, but yeah. So I'm gonna look and see where, um, when I order these shoes, so I can tell y'all like exact timeline of like how long they're gonna take to get to you and stuff like that. So let me check. Um, I ordered these shoes on January the 28th. And I know it's April and I'm just now doing this video, but like I said, a lot of times when I order designer stuff, I do be wanting to wait to unbox it with y'all and then they just sit in a box for a while. So these shoes like literally sat at my front door for like a month before I even open them myself to see what they look like. So if that ain't dedication to my YouTube and to my subscribers, then I don't know what it is. But yeah, so I ordered these shoes on January the 28th, okay, from Essence.com. They sent me a shipment email on January the 29th. So they prepare your order super, super fast. That's what I love about order from Essence and really any type of like designer website, Gucci, um, y'all know, any other website, designer websites will get your items out to you quick. The retail price for these shoes were actually $560, I believe. All McQueen's are usually like around price tag at $560. However, I was lucky enough. I had my eyes on these. And I just kept checking Essence because you know how you'd be like, oh, I don't know if I really want to spend this coin on that or not. So I kind of like checked on them for a minute. And then one day, y'all, like me, how I am, I'm a little bit of a tight wise. So I don't be liking to spend my money like this. Somebody else's money, I could spend it like this. His money, I could spend it like this. My money, I'm always like, oh, do I really like this? Is this really what I want? So I watched these sneakers for a minute. And then I seen, y'all, they went on sale. They went all the way down to $292. So from $560 down to $292. So I'm like, girl, if you don't get them now, when is you going to get them? So I had to get these sneakers. They so were priced at $292. I paid $8 for shipping and then plus tax was $21. So that was a total of $321 for these sneakers. Now, I don't think that's a bad price at all. And the way I reason with myself with buying designer stuff, like a lot of people, y'all go out here, y'all buy Nikes, Adidas, Puma, whatever, whatever y'all be wearing. That's cool. Like when I knew I wanted some new sneakers, I was looking on Finish Line, Foot Locker, stuff like that. And I had seen, um... I had seen like Vapor Max online for like $220, $200, stuff like that. And I'm like, girl, $200 something dollars, put another hundred with, with it. And I'm giving me some designer shoes. So girl, why would I not do that? So that's exactly what I did. And I'm so happy for my purchase. And I love my sneakers. They're so freaking cute. Yeah, ordered them January 28th. They sent me a shipment email January 29th. And then I had my sneakers like a couple of days after that. So the whole process didn't even take a full week to get to me. And they're so cute, so cute. Now the thing with Alexander McQueen sneakers, they are an oversized sneaker. So not only do they look kind of big on your feet, they also run a little bit big. And this is just my experience. Like I said, a lot of people be asking me about sizing. So I'm like, let me talk about sizing in my next unboxing video. So I wear size seven in women. Size seven in women equates to like a size 37 in European sizes and designer sizes. So my last pair of Alexander McQueen's, I don't know if y'all seen that video or not yet. If not, it's gonna pop up somewhere up here. Make sure you check that out because that video is currently at 20K, okay? Or it might be at more than that. Or is it at 19? I don't know, but the video's up there. So when I ordered those, I ordered them in a 37 and they was kind of big, a little bit too big. But the thing about me, I got small feet. Like my feet are kind of skinny. So if you have wide feet, then you can probably go ahead with your actual like size. But my feet are a little skinny. Some days I'm a six and a half, some days I'm a seven. So when I bought these sneakers, I actually sized down. So I bought these in a 36 and a half. Yes, I bought these in a 36 and a half. The, um, shoe size this light's so bright y'all can't see but you can kind of see like the words right there that has the shoe size so i purchased these in a 36 and a half and they fit perfect like from here on out i will purchase alexander mcqueen's in a 36 and a half so they fit me really good and that's with socks on now let me just give y'all the tea on these shoes they don't bend, so that's one good thing. You gotta worry about creasing or anything. These Alexander McQueen sneakers are not comfortable. Are not comfortable. Are not comfortable. They're not comfortable. They fire, they cute. You're gonna be dripping, you're gonna be swaggy. People don't even say swaggy no more. You're gonna, you're gonna look fire, okay? You're gonna look fire if you order these shoes, but they are not comfortable, y'all. I wore these Alexander McQueen's out to a day party, and I'll make sure I insert pictures so y'all can see. But I wore these out to a day party, and my feet was hurting. I'm not gonna lie, my feet hurt, they're not comfortable. They don't hurt as bad as like heels hurt, obviously, because you're still like flat to the ground, 
but they're just not a comfortable shoe they're not an all day walk around town type of shoe they're just not actually um last weekend i went to the uh i went to chicago with my friends and i didn't wear these but i wore my other alexander mcqueen's my y'all i had blood on my socks from wearing my alexander mcqueen sneakers they made my feet bleed yes they did so literally dripping in blood so they're just not a comfortable shoe especially if you don't order your right size and they're a little big your foot just like moving around and the friction and the socks so i think the next time that i do it i'm just gonna wear like a thicker sock or something you know because at the end of the day i still love these sneakers but yeah that's basically that with the alexander mcqueen if you are stuck on the line with like oh my god i don't want to spend all this money on designer shoes should i do it only buy designer items if you want them that's the thing i feel like I get so many people that talk crap under my videos or people that I know personally like, oh, you spending all that money on shoes. And it's like, yes, I am. Because A, first and foremost, I like the items. I never buy designer items for anybody else because everybody else is doing it. I buy them because they're cute and I actually like the sneaker. And also too, like once you get into like wearing designer stuff, you get one item. It's just like tattoos. You get one item, you get one other one. You get one other one. You get one other one. And then that's kind of like where I'm at with it now. Like I kind of sit back in the cut, you know what I'm saying, peek my money out. Or if I get gifted the money or something like that. And then I decide what type of designer item I want next. Now when it comes to me, if y'all see any of my other designer videos, my Gucci Socks video, my Balenciaga video, my other Alexander McQueen video, you will probably hear me say in every video. If you don't have a lot of coin, make sure you go with classic items. Because that's usually what I do when I buy designer. However, these ain't classic. These are a glitter shoe that I probably wouldn't wear in the winter. This is more like a spring, summer type Alexander McQueen shoe just because of the sparkles and the color to them and all of that. So this is definitely like a spring, summer type of shoe to me. But I usually always say stick with the classic items just because, especially when you're just now starting to buy designer items because like, Classic stuff is going to go a long way for you. Like, classic is going to always be in. The prices never drop on the classic ones. The shoes like this, like with the glitter, or if they have, like, different print and stuff on them, those are usually the items that you see that are designer that go on sale. Just because they are um, either, like, seasonal or whatever else. But they're classic ones, like the all-white ones with the black on the back or just the completely all-white ones. Those are probably going to always be at $560, and that's just what it is. Because, like I said, they're timeless, they're classic, you can wear them all year round and stuff like this not so much but yeah so i was extremely extremely happy with my purchase i'm glad i was able to catch these and they so like girl these is cute girl these sneakers baby look at these look at these sneakers they're so cute like i love my shoes the bottom of the shoe look like this so they're already dirty, obviously, because like I said, I wore these shoes out. Alexander McQueen, all their sneakers come with this little print on the bottom. So if you do take cute little pics and you got your foot up or whatever, people still gonna know that you have on Alexander McQueen's. And I think that's cute and I think that's fire. So yeah, this is the shoe, y'all. This is the shoe. If you eye these shoes and you on the fence, girl, just get them. YOLO, you only live once. Get your freaking sneakers. Like, look at these. Look at these sneakers up against my face. Hold on. Let me put this box down. Look at these sneakers up against my face. Like, ain't they cute? These are so freaking cute. And me being pretty Rissa, me being the girl that I am, y'all, I love everything girly, everything sparkle, everything glitter. So when I knew, when I seen these on Essence and they were on sale, I knew I had to get these sneakers. One thing that I think I need to share with y'all is the fact that I don't know what's like on my laces. Um, once again, this light is kind of bright, so I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Let me turn the light down. If I turn the light down, do y'all see this stuff on my shoelaces? It's like some orange stuff on my laces, and it's really like around like this part too. And this is like a rose gold like metal, so I don't know if that is like rubbing off on my shoelaces. Um, I don't know what it is, but... I don't like that. The good thing is inside the box, they do give you um, they do give you an extra pair of laces. So that's actually good. I'll probably have my boyfriend change them out for me because when it comes to putting laces in shoes, I just don't. I, I don't know. I know how to lace up shoes, but I do the traditional like put it in, cross it, and then do it again, cross it, cross it. And as you can see, these are like flat. Like, they're not crossing them. They're flat. So, I don't really know how they did this. So, yeah. And that stain that I'm talking about, y'all, is on both sneakers. Like, 
like I said, my light is bright. Y'all probably can't see, but even it's just like around this part where this, um, where this rose gold metal is, it's like orange. And I know for sure nobody spilled anything on my shoes. I don't see like orange anywhere else. It wasn't any orange on the sole of the shoe. It's literally around this part and it's agitating me. I don't know what it is, but I think everything can be fixed. I can probably just, like I said, switch out the laces and it'd be cool. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So that's going to wrap up my Alexander McQueen glitter sneaker review. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that you was able to pick up some information if you are looking to get you some Alexander McQueen's. Even if it's not these ones, the other things that I said about like the sizing and stuff, I feel like it's across the board for all the Alexander McQueen sneakers, honestly. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Before you leave this video, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Also, too, please make sure that you turn on your post bell notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And one more thing. One more little thing before y'all leave my channel. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram because I can do lit on my Instagram, okay? I'll go ahead and list my Instagram right here. And until next time, y'all, stay pretty.